guys welcome to motivational monday today i'm going to be talking to you guys about what god has been teaching me today so if you have your bibles open up to psalm 123 i lift my eyes to you O god enthroned in heaven we keep looking to the lord our god for his mercy just as servants keep their eyes on their master as the slave girl watches her mistress for the slightest signal have mercy on us lord have mercy for we have had our fill of contempt. We have had more than our fill of the scoffing of the proud and the contempt of the arrogant. So we're going to be focusing on verses 1 through to 3. So I lift my eyes to you, O God, and throned in heaven. We need to be directing our eyes, not on our own circumstances or on our own self, but to God. Our full focus should be on the Lord and on him who is enthroned in heaven. Now, enthroned has a few different definitions. One being to seat in a place associated with a position or authority or influence. Another definition is the ceremony of enthroning somebody, which isn't too important here. But our third definition is to assign supreme virtue or value to. Our God, he already has the ultimate position of authority and influence over everything. But what we need to do is to assign his supreme virtue and value in our lives daily. And as we constantly lift our eyes up to God and up to him, we become close with him. And through that, we can we get to know him better. We get to know more about him and who he is which is so cool. So this brings us on to verse 2. We keep looking at the Lord our God for his mercy, just as servants keep their eyes on their master, as a slave girl watches her mistress for the slightest signal. So as we lift our eyes to him and put him in a place of supreme value daily, we can begin to recognise the slightest signals, whispers, and convictions that he, he places on our hearts and that he brings. We need to be waiting, watching, listening for his signals and for where he wants to take us through those. To do this, we lift our eyes to him, assign him supreme value over our day, ask him what to do about any and every situation, no matter how small or big, and intentionally wait for his signal. And this brings us on to verse three. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Now it's quite a simple verse, but it shows the psalmist pleading to God. He's pleading to God for mercy while he's waiting for a signal and he's pressing into God, he's praying to God, he's, he's warring in prayer. He's showing through this that waiting on the Lord is not a passive thing. Waiting on the Lord should be full of, of prayer and pressing into him, reading his word and just reminding him of his promises. He knows that they're there, but he wants you to come and to declare those over your life. I think that's really important this time to be active in waiting. We're waiting for coronavirus to, to pass through and so we can go to youth again, see our friends and get back to a sense of normal. But in this waiting, we need to be pressing into him, praying and being active in our pursuit of him and our waiting. So I was listening to a podcast today and there was a question there that really drew my attention. I'm going to leave you guys with this. If we bring every decision, request and desire before God and leave it in his hands and trust him with it, how much would our lives change for the better? So I hope you guys are encouraged by this. Just remember to keep lifting your eyes to God and putting him in that place of value in your everyday and that through this we can become closer to him and, and know what he wants for us. So keep on praying, keep on pleading to God for whatever circumstance might be close to your heart 
and I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye guys!